Oh my god, what the hell are they doing in public places? Are you thinking what am I thinking? Is this the sensitive scene of two rattlesnakes? Oh no, you have a dark mind. This is just a fight between two mammals to fight for a girlfriend. <laughs> Are you listening to any sounds? Does this sound come from a baby toy, a cell phone, a desk phone, an alarm clock, or an alarm system? Not at all. This is a unique sound coming from the tail of a snake. Does that sound like they are ringing the bell? Yes, the sound is like a bell when the snake vibrates his tail. That is why they are called the rattlesnake. I had to look this up because I thought I heard one in my room. <laughs> hey, hey, shit, man. Oh my god, what the hell are you doing with me? Get away from me. Don't bother me. I can't take you anymore, human. Ouch, sorry. Welcome to the next Wild Things video. In this video, we will learn about a special snake having sounds like a bell in his tail. This is an extremely poisonous snake known to be the killer of reptiles, that is the rattlesnake. There are 32 species of the rattlesnake with 65 to 70 subspecies, all of which are native to the Americas, from southern Canada to central Argentina. Rattlesnake likes to live in the desert dry forest or steppes. He spends most of his time in caves, but sometimes you can see him lying in the sun in a clear place. Look, that is a rattlesnake. Maybe he knows today will be filmed, so he was ready. Perhaps he tends to live on the internet. It is said that the cameraman is always immortal. Is it not wrong when he filmed a relative of a rattlesnake's big family, right? Let's see, there are grandpa. Grandmother, uncle, aunt, young and old snakes, blah blah. They see the camera and ring the bell repeatedly. Rattle snakes are powerful venomous snakes found throughout North or South Africa. This snake makes people have a cold spine with the ring ring sound from the tail. So how do these snakes make a sound and more importantly, why do they do that? To answer this question, a man is an amateur scientist who has dissected and studied this interesting part of them. The study was conducted simply with a knife. He sliced the snake's tail and the mysterious veil was revealed. The surprising thing happens when he finds that the inside of the snake's tail is completely empty. So what makes the sound? The rattlesnakes vibrate the tail because of the two layers of hard, hollow keratin at the end of the tail. These objects will produce a specific sound if they touch each other. A rattlesnake baby has a tail that can make a sound from his birth. He is born with a tail with only one layer called the virus or the first layer. However, the rattlesnake cannot make a sound with layer. Only after forming the second layer and continuing to form all the layers, the noises can be made by smashing them together. When a young snake sheds his skin after a few days, he also gets a new layer and gradually increases the number with each time he sheds his skin. However, he will not be able to hold these layers for long because the layers will fade away after battles, be bitten by predators, or damaged as they crawl on rough rocks. A rattlesnake can shake his tail to make a sound up to 50 times per second. Furthermore, he can sustain that noise for more than 3 hours. Biologists believe that rattlesnakes use this sound as a signal to keep predators away. The snake evolved to own a very sophisticated warning device. In fact, the rattlesnake is considered the most evolved snake in the reptile family. Belonging to the top 10 most venomous snakes in the world, their canine poisons can paralyze prey's nerve system and kill them within just a few minutes. Of course, humans are no exception. After hours of being lazy, this snake was already hungry, so he decided to crawl out of the cave to hunt. The prey is a beautiful little rat. The snake knows that the prey is poisoned, 
So he just calms down and slowly follows the victim's mouth. The little rat ran away quickly and was thinking that he would escape. But this made him die faster. With just a bite of the rattlesnake, if not dealing in a timely manner, the victim's heart would stop beating in a very short time. A bit of poison, when inserted into the wood, will go through the bloodstream, break the vascular cells, and lead to internal bleeding, then death. Unlike most other snakes, rattlesnakes instead of laying eggs, they lay offspring. They mate and reproduce for about one to three months. The female often recoup energy after reproduction, and they will eat fellow creatures to recover and prepare for the next breeding cycle. Males will usually spend days with one female until the female is ready to mate. However, to attack the female's attention, the males will have to fight with each other. At this time of year, it is not uncommon to see male rattlesnakes twinning in a fight for mating rights with females. The purpose of those matches is not to kill or injure the opponent, but to establish position. She's mine. Okay, the taller will win. Bend down. No, you are the one to bend down. Damn it. Two male rattlesnakes curl their bodies, reaching up high and trying to push their opponents to the ground. The behavior of two males looks strange, but it is the way of attracting the attention of the female during the breeding season and exerting dominance. Usually, the larger male wins, and the other retires from the area. What a shame! And of course, the winner will stay and gain the right to mate with the female. In addition to the above information, there is an interesting thing that anyone must respect this animal that their sex time can last up to 22 hours each time. Perhaps this is the desire of our man, right? <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Why can it do that? When examining, scientists discovered that they have up to two genitals. The reserve one will perform the corresponding duty if the acting one is tired. Is that interesting? Rattlesnakes play an important ecological role in limiting the rodent population, which destroys crops and stabilizing the ecosystem. Their favorite food is birds, rats, small reptiles. They very rarely eat their fellow creatures. So hungry, let's get something to eat. Let's see if there is anything delicious in the desert. Uh, here is what a foul lizard. See my disguise. Look, I'll only do it once. Look at that stupid lizard with extremely innocence. Here it is. Gotcha. Shame on you, the long body. What are you sleeping here for? This is my lordship. You think who you are? Get away. I'm phone today, or else you wait till I catch you. The rattlesnake leave. The disturbing squirrels still follow, and this is the result. <laughs> Rattlesnakes are quite lazy. They often do not actively look for food. They will lie in the cave waiting for the prey to pass, then catch them. The fortunes will be killed very quickly when poisoned. In some cases, if they can stand for a few minutes, there is no luck that will make them escape the death. Rattlesnakes are reptiles only extremely powerful venom that can instantly kill prey with just one bite. Their identifiable feature is the tail that vibrates to make sounds like a small bell. For most species living in the same environment as them, that sound would be a signal of death existing. But when faced with a king snake, the rattlesnake becomes helplessly weak. Hey, hey, who do you think are you talking to? Do you know how poisonous my venom is? The rattlesnake snaps tightly and injects its venom into the king snake's body. What can you do to me with that bullshit venom? You think who you are, idiot? Said the king snake. King snakes use this tiny technique to kill the prey. They are immune to the venom of the other snakes. The king snakes enjoy the lunch in an awful way, swallowing up the loser in his stomach until the rattlesnake's tail fails to make a sound. 
A sad ending to a deadly war with knowing the result in advance, sad but true. Not only the king snake, the mongoose, and the African honey badger are also the enemies of the rattlesnake. The mongoose and African honey badger are rare species that are fast enough to evade the deadly bite of poisonous snakes. In addition, their skin is also designed to be immune to venom. Wow! Your meat looks so delicious! Can I bind you? Let's take a bite, please! Do not play with this shameless animal. The snake said to himself, but life's a bitch. The badger is still patiently followed, so the fight started. At first, it seems that this battle is a drawn battle, but the honey badger bites quickly on the tail and the back of the snake. The weak snakes run away again, but he still cannot escape from the badger. The game is over. Another fierce enemy of the rhino snake is the eagle. Mom, I'm hungry. You just want to eat all day. Can't you do anything, right? Okay, okay, look, today I'm going to cook for you a dish called Super Huge Snake Salad. The eagle finds down a very fat rattlesnake crawling to hunt for food. The time has come. The eagle spreads his wings and carries the snake away from the ground to bring him home. Perhaps this is the first time as well as the last time the snake has experienced the service of the Eagle Airlines. Is the meal delicious? Give me a little, mom, give me. Rattlesnakes, like many other reptiles, can maintain their reflexes for hours after death. They have a particularly strong biting reflex in poisonous snakes because their instinct is to release a quick bite, crawl, and wait for the venom to take effect. And after the snake has died for many hours, the bite reflex can still be activated. Snakes often read for a while after they die. The mechanism behind this bizarre behavior is the pre-programmed nerve system to perform some movement without the need for the brain to transmit a signal. The cut venomous snake head was apparently constructed to bite as a response to a stimulus. So do not be foolish picking up the head of the dead snake, you might be bitten. Thank you very much for watching What Things video. If you see it is a good video, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel below. Remember to press the bell at the bottom not to miss any latest videos.